Hello learners, now we are going to find out a quadratic equation whose roots are m by n and minus n by m. The standard procedure, let, let alpha is equal to m by n and then beta is equal to minus n by m. Okay, so now Again, the same statement, you know, which I gave in the previous class, this one, the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha comma beta is the quadratic equation, the quadratic equation whose roots are, whose roots are alpha comma beta is x square minus x times alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is equal to zero. Now in this equation, we, we don't know alpha plus beta and alpha beta, but we know what alpha and beta are. So based on that, we are going to find alpha plus beta and alpha beta and then substitute in this. Okay. Nothing but one. Okay, fine. So therefore, alpha plus beta stay with me this one's uh, involves a bit of calculation alpha plus beta is nothing but m by n uh, plus minus n by m so this is nothing but m by n minus n by m okay now i'm going to take lcm see here the denominator there's n and here there is m so basically the lcm is mn so basically here m is not there. So I'm going to multiply uh, and divide by m here. And here I'm going to multiply and divide by n here. So I'll be getting m by n into uh, this one would be m by m minus n by m into n by n. Why did I do so? Now you'll understand. See, now there's nothing but m into m is m square, m square by mn minus n into n is n square, n square by mn. So you see now this is nothing but equal to, since the denominator is same mn mn, I'd get m square minus n square by mn. See for this purpose, I did that, you know, this multiplication of e uh, of uh, m uh, uh, multiplying and dividing with m and multiplying divide it with n so that i can get this common denominator and i can get this one m square minus n square by mn okay it's fine uh, now next let's find out alpha beta alpha beta is nothing but you know m by n into minus n by m now you see you know here n n will get cancelled and mm will get cancelled i'll be left out with minus one because this minus sign is here, the final answer is not one, but minus one. So that's it. Just put whatever you got in one. From one, we get x square minus x into alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is m square minus n square by mn. m square minus n square divided by mn plus alpha beta is nothing but minus one is equal to zero. Now, now you see, it's always better to not keep anything in the denominator in a quadratic equation. So here there's mn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to multiply the entire equation with mn. Okay. So in that case, I would be left out with, in that case, I would, this implies mn times x square, uh, when this is multiplied by mn, you know mn and mn will get cancelled and I'll be left out with minus x times m square minus n square. And here minus 1 times mn is going to be, it's going to be minus mn is equal to 0. That's it. We are done. Uh, thank you for staying with me. In case you like this solution, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, Kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you for your support.